sides. So with the new clock event, bringing new towers into this game, I'm going to be showing you how good is Clock Woman in Roblox Toilet Tower Defense. So we're now on wave 14, and I have the Clock Woman down. And she has a pistol, and she's shooting toilets with a yellow range and a normal range. But she does around 750 damage, 25 range, 0.5% cooldown, and a negative 10% cooldown boost. This looks a promising unit. Okay, so let me upgrade some of my farms. There we go. And now let's get her to level 2. It seems like she shoots the magnets. Also, she can get stunned. That, that's sad. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. And hit the bell so you wouldn't miss another video. Also, guys, comment down below in the comments, woman, if you think she's OP. Okay, so at level 2, she does around 3,000 damage, 30 range, 0.5 cooldown, and a negative 15% cooldown boost. So that's her fire rate. And I think, in my opinion, this yellow range is basically her faster fire rate because she shoots extremely fast when there are toilets that are close in this range. Okay, so now we have the Clock Woman and we get her to level 3. She does now 6,250 damage, 45 range, 0.5 cooldown, and a negative 18% cooldown boost where she shoots extremely fast right here. And she does tremendous damage. But now she has a hat, a pistol holder, and yeah. Now we get her to level 4, that's her max level. She does around 17,000 damage, 60 range, 0.5 cooldown, and a negative 22% cooldown boost. This is really OP. So, if I just place a bunch of these clock women, we should be able to destroy the toilets in no time. Just due to their fire rate and their damage is being extremely OP. And they have all a cooldown boost of negative 22%, since it also goes near units. So this yellow part debuffs like the unit's fire rate and make them shoot like very fast. This is very OP with the cooldown. Okay, so it takes around 14,100 yes, coins yes, just to place one clock woman yes, and sir. max her out. This is a very good tower indeed, and it's a good support unit as well. Okay, so we have at least half of the clock woman army here almost upgraded. This is very good. The problem is, are we gonna kill the Titan boss? The Magnet boss with these clock women have a faster fire rate but the concerning thing is like can we kill the boss fast enough just for the win all right so wave 31 has started and now we have to suffer against the glitch toilets the thing is we're just spawn killing them before they can leave this is humiliating to say the least if we're just destroying them let me just destroy these toilet tests and we should be fine with these toilets getting destroyed, we should be fine. Let me upgrade the clock woman to level 2. Even these giant blind toilets cannot leave. I think there's an ability with clock woman. It's like the Mewing TV man, but she stuns the toilets. That's very good. Okay, so we're on wave 35, but so far we're making tremendous progress destroying toilets. So yeah, so let me sell my farms because I think I have enough just to destroy them and place down the remaining clock woman. But basically, the clock woman is literally OP, because with her alone, we're just destroying these toilets, and these massive buzzsaw ovens are just getting demolished right in front of our eyes. Look at that. They're all dead. They can't even leave spawn because they're stunned by these clock women. I don't know how they can stun toilets, but it seems like she can stun the toilets with her, uh revolver or flintlock gun that can stun toilets and just destroy them. That's very OP, to say the least. Alright, so wave 41 started, and we have this magnet scientist toilet that can't even leave because the clock women are all stunning him like really crazy, and he's dead. We just destroyed him. This is very good. Uh, I don't know if this is normal, but she's shooting the toilets very fast, and I think it's harder for them to render the thing. All right, so far these toilets are getting one shot by the bullets. That's kind of humiliating. Okay, now we have the scientist toilet, but he's dead because he's stuck at the wall. These two scientist toilets are stuck and can't get out. They're getting shot to death. Now they have to send these magnet toilets. Have they not learned their lesson? 
The Clock Woman is OP. You can't rival against Clock Woman because of her 20, negative 22% cooldown. That's very OP. Look at that. The security guard couldn't even leave because he's getting stunned and shot at the same time. And with that 34,000 damage per second with the stun, makes it a very good tower to go with along with Mewing TV Man or other units. But look at this. We are just shooting them just with Clock Woman. And the Magnet does not stand a chance because he's getting shot. All right, perfect. Then we just got to kill these jetpack mutant toilets. Okay, now we have some other toilets. Oh, no. Okay, now we... Okay, we're on way 47, but we're killing these boss 4.0s, and we have our first challenge, which is the helmet boss toilet, which doesn't change much. You just have a helmet, but not much of a health change. But they're, they are leaking through our lines. This is surely a concern, at least, but we should be fine, because all these scientist toilets, these magnet scientists, are dying. So, it shouldn't be something to worry about. Though, I'm curious, is it because they also have mewing TV man powers. I'm not sure. I don't think that's possible. But yeah. But okay, we're so far winning. And we're on wave 49. We're almost on wave 50. We just gotta kill these toilets fast. That's annoying. Okay, they're almost all dead. Perfect. Come on, kill the magnet. Scientist 3.0. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Now we just gotta kill these other toilets. Oh no, we're on wave 50. Oh my gosh, there's so many toilets. We need to kill them all fast. They must not be able to pass. Bro, they have so many. Even these glitch toilets are here. Nah. I think it's terrible against the horde. Yeah, when you have a horde of toilets, that is where you don't have it good. Okay, let me have a green laser quick. This is why you need some units to help. But look at this. We're still doing tremendous progress. All right, these toilets are dying. All right, now we have some serious challenges. Which is the DJ, the Magnet, and a few others. Oh, no. We should have taken care of them earlier. This is bad. But I think we can clutch this up and destroy these toilets fast. We just need some miracle to save us. All right, this Magnet Titan toilet is taking tremendous amount of damage. This is very good. So, yeah. He's dying. All right, now he's in the lead. Shoot him. He's losing so much health. And I'm going to have to move some uh, Clock Woman quick. But so far, we're dealing tremendous damage to the toilet. And he's about to die soon, but we need to move our units quick. Okay, now he's done. We gotta slow him down. There we go. We sell the remaining uh, clock woman here just to destroy down this magnet titan toilet quick. All right, he's losing so much health. He's almost at 3 million. Come on, just keep lowering his health. There we go. Okay, he's almost dead. And we did it. We won. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is like and subscribe. New videos every 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, join my Discord. Also, click on video next on the screen for more Toilet Tower defense. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.